Sometimes you can forget what we're fighting for, and then with just one look. I have to admit, it will be nice not to put on a flight suit for a week. I can't wait to get home. There it is, the Baja Peninsula, San Diego. I'm gonna meet my sisters at a little B&B &B in Coronado, gonna spend the entire liberty just sitting in the sand, drinking cold Mexican beer. <laughs> Look, their soldier field. I swear. I can see Marshall Horton blitzing and dropping Brian Paul in the backfield. That's what I'm gonna be doing. My brother and me made up this game when we were kids called Kill the Guy with the Ball. <laughs> you stand 50 yards apart, and one guy kicks a football to the other guy. That guy tries to make it the end zone, while the other guy tries to tear his head off. <laughs> That's a thing of beauty, man. Who's thinking of enlisting? It's weird, all those times in the thick. And I thought I'd never see my family again. And here we are, so close to going home. Hey, Coop, you're welcome to come home with me. It's the first snow in upstate New York. Oh, God, it's beautiful. Yeah. There's nothing for me down there. of the Accord has great symbolic importance given the current tension among the nations who face staggering defeat by the Earth forces in the galactic conflict. You can see, well, somewhere among that group of people is the Secretary General, leader of the world. Mr. Charwell was here clearly with Spot Oh my God! Oh my God! Get the gun! Get the gun! A man has just fired a gun at Charwell! Oh my God, there's blood everywhere! fly faster than the speed of light, control weather, create artificial life, and nothing ever changes. No matter what we think, it's, it's all so out of our hands, isn't it? How can one murderer change the world with the speed of a bullet? You know, the last time this happened, the killer wasn't even human. A silicate shot President Young, 51. It's a coward's move. Makes me want to kill the guy who shot Chuck well. And you have to kill one of your own. The guy that killed Chartra was an in vitro, Luke Doctran. No one knows why he did it. It's true. Natural borns are going down into tank sections of New York and Miami looking for payback. How would you know? We've instituted a communications blackout. We were just on planet an hour ago. We're replacements for the 58 that were lost on Bunuel. I'm Pizarek. This is Stone. That's Lieutenant Rick Sorko. I want you to know I put in seven requests for transfer to the 58th. It's an honor to be assigned to the wild cards. One I deserve. What you deserve is a butt kicking for putting your gear on my rack. Don't talk to me like I'm a rookie. I flew 75 sorties over orthos. Ain't nothing to deal with me. You don't get your gear off my rack. I would think you would cool your jets after what your kind just did to Chartwell. <laughs> This is real thoughtful of you, Hawks. You must have read my tedium breaking up fights between you and West. Get your gear off his bunk. They've lifted the blackout for an hour. Spencer Chartwell is dead. A great warrior, a better man has fallen, and you're to pay your respects. That's under my orders. 
begins its eternal burn this evening outside the Chartwell Ranch near Canberra, where the slain Secretary General will be laid to rest. The plane carrying the Secretary General's body is just landing. Awaiting the body, under some controversy, is the present Undersecretary of the UN, representing the ultra-right-wing identity party nationaliste from the nation of France, Nicolas Chapeau. France having recently seceded from the European Union. I don't According know about this guy. According to the UN Constitution guy. drafted in 2012, until the Electoral Council can meet to elect a new Secretary General, Chapeau, at the moment, is indeed the leader of the world. Many have reacted against Chapeau's positions on the escalation of the galactic conflict and his opposition to in vitro affirmative action. You got to admit this guy says makes a lot of sense. The Secretary General's seat comes from the technologically developed superpowers led by United States Ambassador Diane Hayden. Hayden herself is controversial for her stand in attempting a dialogue with the enemy in an effort to begin peace negotiations. Until recently, she served as a member of the Aerotech Board of Governors, but resigned due to a potential conflict of interests. Shampoo, however, has been the champion of underdeveloped industrialized nations, which make up a majority of the UN. An emergency meeting of the UN Electoral Council will occur, for security reasons, at an undisclosed location, rumored to be off Earth. USS Saratoga. I am Commodore Ross. Lieutenants, escort the ambassadors to their quarters. Aye, 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 sir. Commodore. May I ask how many vitros are amongst the crew? Two, sir. Lieutenant Hawks and Colonel McQueen. They are both fine officers. Perhaps you are unaware that, before leaving Earth, an order was issued that individuals must submit to a loyalty test. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. I'll take that under advisement. Lieutenant Wang. Report to Loading Bay 5 on the double. Inform Colonel McQueen I wish to see him in my quarters immediately. Aye, aye, sir. This is Saratoga, Ambassador Chapu. I'm Colonel McQueen. Colonel, it's an honor to be amongst our fighting men and women. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Lieutenants, escort Ambassador Chapu to his quarters. I was at the ceremony when the 58th received the Montgomery Star for the Battle of the Belt. Allow me to personally congratulate you and offer my deepest thanks. Thank you, sir. You weren't there. Lieutenant West had six confirmed kills. You have the courage of de Gaulle. Thank you, sir. Pardon me, Colonel McQueen. Yes, Lieutenant. Commodore Ross requests to see you in his quarters. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Ambassador. The lieutenants will show you to your quarters. McQueen was supposed to be here. Whoever's inside is gonna be ticked off. any way to treat a guest? I shot you down on Bunuel. 
You can trade in a 58 Mustang on this year's model. That's the way you made us silicates. Felicity OH519 was on Bunuel. I'm Felicity 483, lower model number, higher sticker price. Get the hell off my ship. We were invited here by Diane Hayden. That's not a good picture of me. Why would she ask you here? I want to come back to Earth. It's cold out in space. And I think you'd feel right at home. Silicates love to gamble. And I'm betting that you won't shoot an unarmed guest of Diane Hayden. I killed you once. And I'd do it again. If Hayden brought the silicates here, it wouldn't be in their interest to make any They're trouble. capable of anything. Sabotage, assassination. Gear up! Ross is sending us on assignment. Cargo pickup. Cargo pickup? Leave that crap for the army. Loading bay four and ten mics. Move. How did you get down here so fast? Just gung-ho for my first ride with the 5.8. Hustle up. Let's get on board. Colonel. I'm sorry. I tried. Hold it right there, Lieutenant oh, Hawks. What the hell's going on here? Colonel McQueen, Lieutenant Hawks, you are to be detained for loyalty questioning. What is this? Just because they're in vitros? This is a disgrace to them and to us. Here are your orders. Do not read them until an hour into your mission. Commodore, if they're taken away, we don't board this ship. Benson, get on board. I expect you all to do your duty. can detain the Queen and Coop. For BS reasons, he can do the same to any of us at any time. No one said it was on Shapu's orders. And how do we know that Hawks and McQueen didn't do anything? Hawks went through the academy with us. He never displayed suspicious behavior. Well, there was that thing with the she magazine. OK, but he explained it. And McQueen's our commander. I trust him. What's his first name? What? McQueen, what's his first name? You guys are gonna trust someone on blind faith and you don't even know his first name? One thing I always thought was weird was why an in vitro would rise so high in the military. Something they hate. He risked his life for us. I know. I trust McQueen. But I learned firsthand what the tanks are capable of pulling when they have me thrown off the Telus column. We're at war. The world is scared and growing divided. Now, if you were a tank and after all the hell you've been through, suddenly there was a window of opportunity to take over wouldn't you do it by any means necessary? You're both paranoid. There's good reason to be. Lieutenant Banton? Yes. It's 58 Squadron? Yes. Which cargo bay are you looking for? 661. Cargo's waiting. Ambassador Hayden. Is your name and rank McQueen? TC, Lieutenant Colonel? Yes. Does TC stand for Tyrus Cassius? I always thought TC stood for Top Cat. Colonel, we're trying to calibrate the polygraph. Please limit your responses to yes or no. Does TC stand for Tyrus Cassius? Yes. Is your in vitro identity gene pool 13C, batch Kappa 9757, Anchorage facility? Yes. Have you killed for your country? Yes. Would you die for your country? Yes. Have you ever betrayed your country? Have you ever betrayed your country? 
I won't answer that question. How dare you ask me that? Have you ever betrayed your country? You know the answer. Then you have nothing to fear in answering. Only myself for answering it. You will remain in detention until you respond. What's it look like from here? Madam Ambassador? The Earth. It's like a masterpiece painting. Deep blues, aquas, white clouds. I was born blind, six months before they discovered the gene transfer cure. With the help of the author scanner, I can sense things, but how do you describe it to someone who has never seen? It makes me feel insignificant and supreme at the same time. With all due respect, Madam Ambassador, there will be nothing to describe if we surrender to the enemy. You think communication is surrender? Did they try to communicate with the Vest and Telus colonies? You were on the Aerotech Board of Governors. Don't the lives of the colonists mean anything? We've seen them butcher our wounded, begging for help. The American Indians did the same thing at the time they were seen as aliens. But we know they were defending their land that was being taken. And as soon as they surrendered to the settlers, the slaughter never ended. What were they to do? They were against an enemy they knew they couldn't defeat. Insignificant and supreme. Is your name and rank Hawks Cooper, first lieutenant? This thing gonna shock me or something, I get a wrong answer. Is your name and rank Hawks Cooper, first lieutenant? Yeah. What the hell is this? Just some questions. The same ones we asked Colonel McQueen. Queen did this. Is your in vitro identity gene pool 16A, batch alpha, 3439, the Philadelphia facility? I guess. Please limit your responses to yes or no. Have you killed for your country? No. Have you killed in battle? Yes. Have you killed a natural born human? No. Have you ever killed a natural born human in battle? No. Have you ever betrayed your country? No. Would you ever betray your country? Hey, it betrayed me way before I was born. Just a few more questions, Lieutenant. We're approaching the Saratoga, but the navigation screen's got a glitch. Solar flare? No indication on the SFI. It's got to be the electronics. If we can't find it, we can't dock. Everyone look for some kind of jamming device. Check your radio transmitters. Got trouble. What's wrong? It's a radio frequency meter detonator. My guess is that it's activated by the Saratoga's landing permission code. I've received the code already. Then it's activated. I got an idea. probably designed to explode in the time it would take from code transmission to docking in the Saratoga. We got three minutes. Tell the pilot to alter its course from the Saratoga. It's magnetically attached. Disrupting the magnetics from the metal would break the detonator circuit. It would set it off. Then there's space for one on the flight deck. We got two minutes. safe up on the flight deck. It just started its final cycle. 
We gotta get her off the ship now. I need something made out of metal. Don't disrupt the magnetic contents. Slide it over. I told the pilot to disengage from the flight arm in 45 seconds. Airlock. Easy, go easy. It's gotta be open from the inside. Help me get strapped in. All clear! Good move, Swerko. Sit down. Is everyone all right? Are you all right, ma'am? A little afraid. What I'm afraid of is that this vehicle has been in the loading bay since before the assassination of Tarwa. And it was under my guard the entire time at the moon base. Which means the bomb had to be set by someone aboard the Saratoga. And I thought security was tight at Heathrow. Are you all right, Diane? I'm fine, Nick. These Marines should be given a medal or a raise. Diane, I'd like to offer the services of Thompson, my personal bodyguard. Madam Ambassador, I am Commodore Ross. Given the recent incident, I must insist upon Marine guards as security. Thank you both. I have never used security personnel. You need them. Nick, I didn't say I didn't need them. But if people can see a government official walking around without bodyguards, it makes them feel safer. Madam Ambassador, under these circumstances... No, gentlemen. That's final. I am on board the USS Saratoga, the finest space carrier in our fleet. If I can't be safe here, where would I be safe? I'll show you to your quarters. I would like to see Colonel McQueen. I'll escort you. I understand he's being held because of Ambassador Shapu. Thanks for the lift, and thank you, Lieutenant Swerko. No problem. He's a jerk, but we can't forget he saved our ass. But don't worry, he won't let us forget. I was just thinking, Swerko was in the loading bay, inside the ship, before any of us got here. Lieutenant West, do you have a few moments? When I was detained in 31 for marching in an in vitro rights rally, the bars were still quaintly made out of iron. I guess no matter what material they're made from, there will always be bars. And loyalty tests. These are strange days, Colonel. There are a lot of scared people, and I must admit, with good reason. And there are a lot of paranoid people with no good reason. They believe what they feel. To patronize them is a serious miscalculation. To 
ignore them to hope that they will go away, it's very dangerous. So you stand up to them? At the right time. And you can't let them know you're doing it. I won't take the test. Of course not. No one should have to. And when I'm elected, no one will. But to get elected. If you make a fuss about releasing me or the tanks on planet, you risk losing something you want. Something we want. I notice you're on the other side of the bars. If I am elected, I will personally turn the key that opens this door. But until then, my thanks for understanding, my apologies for accepting, and my respect for sacrificing an individual dignity for a greater cause. And in case you ever question if you've done the right thing, here is your answer. Come in, Nathan. It's hard to believe that one person could be in control of it. For centuries, men have tried through violent means. But for the past few decades, nine people have ruled the world. As it should be, peacefully. And in an hour, maybe two, the tenth person will be elected to that position. I wanted to talk to you, Nathan, because I can tell you are interested in the truth. Yes, sir. I could see it in your eyes when we arrived. You know how you can look into a person's eyes and know if they are a liar. I confess I am aware of your situation, unjustly removed from the Telus colony by the in vitros, and that you risk your life nearly every day in search of another life every bit as important as yours. And that your brother Neil, after Chartwell was assassinated, enlisted in the Marines. Soon he will risk his life every day in this war. So I thought that you deserved to be aware of a certain truth. A truth that is known by only a few and should remain so for obvious reasons. Aerotech, the board of governors that had you removed, the board upon which Diana Hayden sat, that sent the Vesta colony, that sent the Tellus colony, that sent Kyle and Selina to die. They knew. They knew the aliens existed. We all believed we were alone in the universe, but they knew they were there, and they knew what might, what did happen. I will do everything I can to defeat those responsible for what you now know. And what will you do? Lieutenant West, this election is a toss-up. It will not be settled at tonight's session. So, when the Electoral Council has recessed, Mr. Shapu would like to meet with Ambassador Hayden to discuss give and takes. It would be much better to do this privately. No one having known the meeting occurred. You're on watch on level 10, section A13 tonight, aren't you? Perhaps? One hour after the session adjourns, you could make sure the door leading to the hallway of the executive VIP quarters is left unlocked. Then continue your watch away from that area for 13 minutes. 
Ambassador Chapu would be very grateful. He said you answer the questions. Why are you in here? Did you answer one wrong? What'd they ask you? Oh, I, I, I lied to them about that guy I had to kill, but I don't think they caught it. I don't think that's what they were concerned about. Oh, what was the deal? It was a loyalty test. Loyalty can't be tested by questions and answers. I know, that's why I refuse to answer. True loyalty can only be demonstrated through the display of manifest actions, often defiant, when confronted by insurmountable obstacles in the form of confrontational and irrational enemies. Is there anything I can get you? Want a book, or a magazine, or something? Ox. Tell Ross. I want out of here. I'll take the test. Is your name and rank McQueen? Tyrus Cassius, Lieutenant Colonel? Yes. Is your in vitro identity Gene Pool 13C, Batch Kappa 9757, Anchorage facility? Yes. Have you killed for your country? Yes. Would you die for your country? Yes. Have you ever betrayed your country? No. Would you ever betray your country? No. Were you aware of any plot to assassinate Secretary General Chartwell? No. Are you aware of any current plot to assassinate the present Secretary General? No. Do you know of anyone thinking of assassinating the Secretary General? thinking of assassinating the Secretary General. Thinking? Please limit your responses to yes or no. How do I know what someone else is thinking? Are you thinking of assassinating the Secretary General? No. Are you thinking of assassinating the Secretary General? No, how can you ask that? Have you ever had thoughts of assassinating the Secretary General? Enough! Commodore, I said enough. This is a good officer. This is a damn good man. And I don't need your machines or your questions to know that. Commodore. 
With my own eyes, I have seen this man risk his life for me. And he's seen me risk it for him. No dial or meter can ever understand that. And clearly, neither can you witch hunters. Sir, this is not your this place. This is my ship. Now you get the hell off her. has failed. Shall we activate the backup? Shapu, the assassin's dead. Was it Hawks? Hawks, it was Swerko. Where's Shapu? We're scheduled to take off in 15 minutes. We'll get you to a secure area on planet. I forgot the Security Council reports. You should board. I'll be right back.
are you? What are you doing here? Cooper, listen. Drop the weapon. I can't. I want to, but I can't. They've done something to you. I think it was when you took the loyalty test. They're making you do this. What is it makes you fire? Uh, an image, a sound? I don't know. If it was just the sight of him, he'd be dead. Well, what triggers you? I don't know. No, don't go for your weapon. Zip the suit up now. No, don't! I can't! I think we passed your loyalty test. It's all right, Sergeant. Everything's all right. Sorry. The door was unlocked. If someone had got to Hitler, or Stalin, or Dr. Stranahan before he reprogrammed the AIs, how many more people would now be alive? Wouldn't the world have been a better place? It's for the world to decide. Secretary General Hayden, on behalf of the men and women of the USS Saratoga, may I offer our sincere congratulations on your election. Thank you, Commodore. I will do everything I can to bring you all home soon, and with honor. Lieutenant West, because of your actions, the perpetrators of a hideous crime have been eliminated, and a life has been saved. I'd rather have the truth than the medal. Did Aerotech know? Did you know they were out there? Watch your hands, watch your hands.